Hey, what's going on everybody? It is ya boy Will, and we are back with some more Genshin Impact today. And we have, let's see here, event. Five days and eight hours left of this event. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this, but I'm just going to say it again. So apparently this area is only going to be out for this update. So it's only going to be out during 1.6 and when it comes to 1.7. Uh, it's unclear whether or not they're going to keep this area or if they're going to maybe fold it in to one of the other regions, which I hope they do. But as of right now, it seems like after this update, the 1.7... It might, it's probably not going to be here. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't heard from like uh, other people in like the Genshin Impact community, not the actual like developers. So I'm not super sure about it, but uh, it sounds like that's a possibility of happening. So if you haven't yet, really try to get here, do all the stuff that you want here in the next five days, I guess. Since it seems that there's a possibility that this might not be here forever. Which sucks, because this place is so nice. But, uh, yeah, sorry. We are going to be continuing our journey. Uh, let's see here. We just unlocked the th fourth special event. These markers right here. Oh, yes, and these are the ones that give us the, uh... The rewards that I've been looking for. So we can get that new weapon... That's red, as well as like some other important stuff from the other shop. So let's go and get that. Okay. I'm not 100% at what this is supposed to be. Um, what's supposed to go on with this? I do know it involves the items that we craft near the end of last stream. Which, yeah, I was an idiot when I was crafting them. I didn't realize that they make 20 up each, like, thing. Like, you craft one, but you get 20 out of that one crafting. So I made two of all of them, so I have 40, so I have more than enough of uh, what I need. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. Um, I haven't really tried to use the items that we crafted because I'm not 100% sure on how to use them. God, I got so many of these freaking helmets. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, oh yeah, I did able to level up Dayluke. And uh, I'm working towards, I think it's level 50 cap now. I think I'm about midway there. Right, these. Item expired. Okay, so yeah, these all do have expiration dates. Oh, I didn't really need to make these. Oh, so you use one and it's... Alright, then it pops immediately back to your other uh, magic. Unlike the other ball, which stays on until you switch it off. Right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it just seems like those balls are just there to like make it a little bit easier to fight these guys. And it's not necessarily actually needed. It's kind of a bummer, because I thought it was needed. These guys are level 70, so they do seem... I think they're actually stronger than most of the other enemies. I thought they were all, like, under level 70 around here. So maybe that's why they give us the balls, to, like, kind of boost our power.
Oh yeah, yeah, that fire damage is a nice little chunk. But again, since this is for like a special mission, which we get a reward for, we don't actually get any drops from these enemies. Oh my god. Oh, it's 15 of them. All right. Let's try to pop all these guys at once. Oh. Fire damage is so key to this. Gotti. Alright. So now we got 300 of those. It looks like a feather in a bubble. Uh, let's just recheck the shop. We haven't looked at it in a while just to see uh, what we got, what's going on there. Uh, event shop. There we go. So yeah, here's the first one that we've already gotten like all the good stuff. We just have like these two remaining things. We don't, I'm not even really going to worry about them. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. All right. So, yeah, we have some more uh, uh, level up crystals, level up materials, and then the important stuff, which is these items for our base, which are, I believe, unique. And I have no idea what the hell. Okay. Uh... Not exactly sure how these are even supposed to be for. Okay, interesting. And then this is what we're mainly trying to go for. Which, uh, like, I'm not a big fan of Klee. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't even have Klee as a character. She's like one of the few I don't have. But I will get her eventually. And, uh, when I do... I'll have this. But uh, yeah, as for right now, we have 300, and I'm getting the uh, this right off the bat. And we're pretty close at leveling up our base again to the next um, highest level. I I've really slowed down the pace of it, of uh, leveling up our base, because uh, ever since I realized we could buy the purple paper there, and it just keeps refreshing. So I've just kept on buying a lot of purple paper there and really helps boosting a lot of our characters. Like, I think that's mostly what I've done with Dayluke is level him up that way. How far away is this other... Okay, yeah. I was going to say, is it like on the same island? But no, yeah, we're teleporting right on over there. Yeah, we're going to be doing a few of these. Uh, a little disappointing. I thought this would have been a little more... Of a complex situation giving those uh, balls that they have that we have but it doesn't seem like seems like a pretty straightforward fight <laughs> oh they're ice based so this will be mint These guys are all firm level 70. I don't even know what our adventure rank is, if we've hit the point where we can level up if we do that one quest or not. Because yeah, right now, I think we're like level 50, trying to get to 51. And uh, it has just been a super slow burn trying to get up past... 50 because we've just done so many things to get us a lot of XP early like finding a bunch of treasure chests can definitely help But yeah, like you at this point you have to find so many treasure chests to level up that it's ridiculous At this point, it's basically just kind of grinding uh, dailies as well as boss fights Like the Devalin fight the child fight stuff like that Hey, buddy Okay, sweet. Once again, we got another one. 
Yeah, we still need to find the final set of seashells. Um, I'm not 100... I, I need to relook into that, because I found a video that said how to get them, and when I tried to go and do it, it wasn't happening, so... I'm thinking maybe I need... Something. Oh yes, I also forgot. Uh, you get rewards in here. Okay, clear out three monster caps, six and nine. And then there's all of these. What do these do? Oh, okay, so these are just different challenges. These ones aren't really worth it since it's only giving you two purple paper. And it's just like... No. And we have enough to buy these two. All right, sweet. So then, uh, I'm gonna save up for this one, and then I'll start buying these, which will need a 2,000. So we'll have to do four more of these fights for that. Uh, so we'll have to do a total of six, yeah, six fights to be able to have enough to buy everything that I want. Okay, where are we at? Uh, oh yeah, we do have enough. We're just over to get, uh, rank 51 if we wanted to. But yeah, our, our guys are just way too ill-equipped. Uh, Dayluke. Yeah, I put in a couple of pieces of paper with him after I leveled him up. So he's uh, level 43 right now. And I believe he gets... Yeah, he gets a reward when he hits uh, level 50 cap. Or when he ascends level 50 cap. All the voice lines. The legend of the Dark Knight hero. An interesting... God, yeah. I feel so bad when I come to this side of, like, the characters. Because it's just, like, a list of a whole bunch of them that I haven't really used. It's just like, uh... Like her, I was trying to pump her up when I first got her. And I got her up to... Yeah. I, I ascended past 50 cap. I don't... Yeah, I don't have any paper. Alright. Zarya. I was excited for her to come out. Because I thought she'd be great at comboing, but I never ended up using her. Because again, like, our world level is just too high. Where if they're under level 60, like, they're, they're too fragile to be in a fight. Gosh, we're gonna send in her. I was doing that as well as her. Yeah, Amber really stalled out pretty hard. She's the first character you get, and I only got her to 60. Friendship level 5, though. She's, like, pretty high, friendship level-wise. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the characters I've ascended to the high, the uh, next, like, unlocked the next set of levels, but I haven't really started uh, leveling them up. Zhao's pretty close. I really started trying to work on him. Uh, Bennett, my god, like a rocket. I got him and immediately pushed him as far as we could. Same with uh, Cheng Yun. Or uh, Shang Yun. Barbara, we're up to level 70. I still need to pump some more levels into her. Uh, I, uh, I keep forgetting I have him up to level 80, and I need to um, raise him. Or, he's 70, but he's unlocked until 80. So. I am... I'm gonna swap out some of our characters. Razor, you're taking the back seat. Main boy's on, so, like, we're set. We're safe. Um... Fire seems to be really helping with a lot of these guys, so I'm gonna put on Bennett. Gonna be epic. Babs. Did I swap out Babs? Yeah, it seems like a lot of characters I have, like most of them, a good like half, or like between like 40 and 50. And then, like, the second half is all between, like, 70 and... Uh, 60 and 70. Alright, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have uh, Bennett on. Uh, this one's probably gonna be real far away. Alright, so this is a bit depressing. Yeah, I should've... I, this is my bad, guys. I should've looked into this before starting the stream today. I thought this was just gonna be, like, a whole, like, unique thing. I didn't realize it was just, like... Nope, it's a basic fight. These balls can help, kind of. And it's just like, oh man. 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. Finally shown up. Where is you? Fuck, alright. We have a shell that showed up. I don't know why it just had. Oh, no. Right there. Maybe it takes a specific amount of days. This whole island is a chunk of Mondstadt Mountain. A great force dislodged it from the mountain range and cast it into the sea. As it fell, it began to spin and ultimately landed upside down. Hence the topography you see today. Whose voice is that? Rather interesting. Another masterwork by the Animo Archon Barbados, no doubt. Oh! That might be the voice of that new character. I'm not 100% on it, but maybe. And maybe it was a time thing where, like, you had to wait for those to be revealed. Because I have been here, and I have tried to listen to some of those shells. And there's nothing in them. God, their armor is so hard to break through. Get out of here! Out of the way! Adventure time! Oh my god. These guys are just spongy. Yeah, like, main boy, he's maxed, man. And he still takes quite a bit of time to take these boys out. Crap. Off we go. Damn it, I was gonna s try to go after the other guy before the helmet came back. Let's light it up! There we go, there we go. Yeah, I'm just shit at comboing this. At least it feels like I'm just not really hitting him. There we go. Alright, we have six people to fight. This is just gonna be the third. I'm I'm thinking the next are gonna be more jelly boys. Oh no, just more of these guys. Alright. These guys are way easier to take down than the big jellies, just because they're so insulated. Oh my god, that was an accident. How did I freeze him? Oh yes, I also found out where there's another uh, side quest. A bit secretive. Alright, sweet, so we got that. Uh, let's see where the next one is. I'm gonna recheck where some of the other shells are. Yes, alright, we do. We did need to come here. Because this is where one of the other uh, shells are supposed to be. But yeah, I tried to find them last time we were streaming, except the shells were just empty and didn't have any messages in them. Alright, so yeah, now they're all marked. I should probably go check on the main line to see if maybe something new's happened. I think I might have passed it.
I 100% passed it. On my way down, I must have missed it. I think it's high up on the cliff. Free! Don't push your luck! Don't get frostbite! Just need to take him out before he makes those annoying pedestals. Yeah, timing your alt is so key to some fights. Because you just become invincible. Everybody stand back. When you do it. Especially if you're fighting a strong guy about to do something like that. If you alt it at the right time, you just pass right through it. I like the electricity that's their weakness, as well as other... Yo. God, yeah, everyone's so weak. Kai's doing like a hundred for slashes. Bennett is barely not even doing a hundred. Barely. Get out of here! Out of the way! Oh god, this is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Off we go! That's gonna hurt in the morning. Cool it! Yeah, this is going to be one of those ones where it's like we're breaking down the shield but also chipping away at his health. So by the time his shield's down, he's basically dead. The old Fatui strategy. <laughs> Actually, no, we're doing pretty good with his shield. Such a slow crawl. Basically, only his R2 that really does any damage. Disappear. Oh my god. Yeah, this was a bad, like, team pick. Shit. As soon as I saw him, I should have swapped on, like, Razor or Noel. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably try to raise Kai up a bit. What's the hurry? Cool it. Dodge this. Oh, the wrong button. There we go. All right, that one was a bit time-consuming, and that should bring us up to six. Yeah, I totally screwed up. I should have. Uh, Ascended a lot slower. You know what? No, let's uh, let's try to climb this a little bit. I thought the shell was on the other side, the one that I saw before. But I could just be wrong. Right now I'm, uh, 
God, do you ever just like find a YouTube channel and you just end up going through like every single video? And it's just like recently I've just been really hitting the game grumps hard. Uh just started watching their Danganronpa playthrough. Which they did that for like quite a while. And like I always saw that, but I always thought now nah, wait until it's done. And it's like it's been done for a while. So I just started it like earlier today. Getting into it. So good. So good. Okay, so the shell is supposed to be over on this side. Maybe up here. Maybe I just missed it by that. Much. Aha, right there. The fish from here must taste amazing. Clee really wants to try one. All right. Let's go catch some fish together. Oh, it's us. But we need to be quiet, okay? Uh. I mustn't let my big sister find out. Oh, wait. So that other guy wouldn't have been... That would have to be Bar... Not Bar... Barbados. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... Um... What's his face? Really? I don't remember his name. Like eating fish, too? I sure do, but I like catching them even more. When we were kids, my sister and I used to go catching fish together sometimes. Well, she might look super serious now, but let me tell you, when she was a kid, she was so much fun. She even had a pet tortoise. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, my bad. So that it, that was all of us. So we've had to unlock that other island with the bubble on it to get those um, shells. That's why. We weren't getting them before and what was it character archives what was his name albedo albedo that must have been his uh voice because it's just like i watch a lot of anime and like there's a lot of anime voice actors in this video game so it's just like everything just bleeds together <laughs> at times so it's like i've heard this voice a million times but i can't place it if it's actually from this game or from an anime but yeah, God, Sucros really moved up to the top of our my list of characters that I want, uh, because of I think it was I don't think it was the last update, but the update before that where we could go into a dungeon with and use characters that we don't already have, and one of the characters we got to use was Sucros, and like yeah, her magic is so freaking on point. So far, she's like my favorite like one to use for attacking. Magic wise. And yeah, I haven't really used much Jean. I don't think I've actually uh, played as her before. I don't think. Extremely briefly. And then uh, Venti is supposed to be super good, but like he's a bow character, so it's like, we'll see. Uh, pretty okay. Don't really care for. I was disappointed in him. I got to play as him temporarily, and. I don't know. I haven't. I think I just haven't found a good way to use his magic. I think that's probably the big part of it. Kind of like uh, Chung Yoon. I like his abilities, but they don't really seem to be that effective, unfortunately, whenever I use them, so I need to figure out how to boost that. Actually, I actually know very little about her. I know she's a spear user, and that's basically it. And then, don't know much about her either, and I really need to... like. These last few characters, since Zhao came out, like these guys, I need to look more into, more in depth of their moves. I think uh, Zarya I know the most about, and I just need to fo work on like leveling her up and like incorporating her into a team. Uh, and I'm not sure about her. Her fire magic seems to be very destructive and very useful if I level her up properly, but uh, we will see. That's my character brand for today. Um, let's see where the next one is. Oh shit, wait, what? Passed it. Oh, it's behind us. Okay. Um. Where was it? Where was it? There's a secret quest that we can do. Oh, of course, neither one of the islands has a teleportation point. All right, we'll go do this, and then I'll try to do this uh, secret mission that I found out about. 
that honestly I 100% would have missed if I didn't see a video on it. It involves like you have to inspect one of the parts of the broken ship, like the big one that's uh, broken in half across a couple of different islands. I didn't even realize I could inspect it. But apparently you can. And uh, that triggers a quest. So it's like, ah, oh, shit, I need to do that. As well as get one more picture of a uh, cave drawing. That's what it was. Sorry, drawing a blank here. <laughs> That was the wrong button. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. Out of the way. I'm going in. Yeah. Oh, so little damage. Come on, they're. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that Albedo, Albedo, Albedo came. On this trip with Razor, uh, Deluke, and Kaya. It's like, really? I thought he was just like a random alchemist in town. Like, super smart and advanced alchemist, but... You would think like, like maybe Bennett would have come with Razor or something. Because they're both part of the uh, Adventurers Guild and whatnot. Oh god. Oh, almost died there. Good lord, why is this guy just like not taking any damage? It is ridiculous. There we go, there's your shield. It's always around the 50% mark. Crap, there it is. Oh my god, that just like destroyed your shield instantly. Good lord. Okay, I maybe I do need to use the balloons a bit more. Characters are so freaking useful just because they're like able to combo with I think almost every element except Geo. I haven't really found a good way to combo with Geo because like Geos are rocks so it's like there's no like real elemental effect. Although there are some enemies that can throw dirt in your eyes that kind of smudges up the camera. Maybe that someone that does that I maybe I can combo with wind. Sand! Pocket sand! Right in the eye. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? He's ice. I'm a moron. <laughs> what the heck? What's the hurry? There we go. And some more. I think it was out on that island right there, the closest one to us. A little slope on it. I believe that's the island that has part of the broken ship. It's either that one or the center island. I cannot recall. I do not have sexual relations with the broken ship. This time. What's the hurry? <laughs> What's the hurry? Wait, is there a way to look at our past photographs in game? Because we had that quest where we we're supposed to take pictures.
But can we see which photos we've taken? Because I, I have forgotten already. Jazzbot. Alright. Let's uh, get on our boat and head on over there. Let me just uh, look at the name of that quest so I can do it super quick. I'm pretty sure I just need to take one more photo. I'm gonna be wrong. It's gonna be the center island, probably. God damn it. Oh, wait. No, I was right. Aha, you fools. You died of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Apparently, next month, there's. I, I, I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but apparently, Plague Tale Innocence is a game that I've been wanting to pick up. The sequel was announced, uh, Plague Tale Requiem, which looks awesome, is going to be coming out. And apparently there's going to be the PS5 update for it, or patch, uh, next month. That's the beginning of next month. So people are saying that might be the free game for next month for both PS4 and PS5. And I'm really hoping so because I've wanted to pick up that game. And if it is, we are going to be taking a bit of a sideline somewhere. And, uh, play that. Okay, here we go. Be the way to inspect this. So we're supposed to find the other half of the ship. Which, we've already seen the other half of the ship. We just need to uh, get back to it. It's on another island with no teleport point. We're gonna have to climb up a uh, big-ass cliff, if I remember. Or maybe there was an um, uh, airstream that we could lift up. Oh shit! Alright. All right, so I just glanced over at the page I pulled up for that other side quest, and it looks like I think the island that we need to go for this quest is also the same island we need to go to take the final photo. So it's like, sweet! We might be uh, being able to knock out two quests just by visiting the same island, which is this one. Um, we are going to. I'm going to teleport to this one, summon the ship, and then just boat on over. Be, that should be quicker. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, I don't know what to do after um, we take the final photo, if there's another step after that. Same with the boat. I don't know how complex this gets. All I know is there's only one way to trigger it, and that's to pick up a piece of wood from one of the halves of the ship. I believe we picked up all the treasure chests from all of those. I never noticed, but those action lines that happen around us when we're going fast, it actually does, like, distortion on uh, the scenery. You look, like, right up at the edge when they're happening. Like, physical distortion to the image. I did not notice that. I just thought they just put white lines there to, like... Oh, action. They didn't actually change up the image. Uh, hey, there we go. Boy! Yeah, look at all these guys. These are all uh, 65. 
Opposed to those other guys for those missions are uh, 70. We still haven't used the revive yet that uh, Barbara has, so that's good. Go, Barbara, go. <laughs> mm, don't think so, buddy. Ooh, purple. A purple scroll. Damn it. I don't think... Can I? Oh, it doesn't let me when we're in combat. But. Alright. As soon as I get over here, the other two guys are going to get alerted. Ah, uh, alright. Trying to avoid it. Yeah, actually, what the hell? We still haven't figured out what these do. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Whoop. He's dead. <laughs> Self sacrifice, baby! Alright, I believe this is the last one we need to take. Yeah, the ship that got stuck up there and. That was two Paimons on screen there. Maybe Lisa? At the very least, she might know someone. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's uh, follow this jet stream up so we can get that other piece of the ship. I think it only broke into two parts. And I believe the uh, shell actually talked about this. One of the shells talked about the, sh uh, the ship having treasure or something. Or there being like sunken treasure in the waters. I believe that was from this ship. Hey. Inazuma! Yeah, I wonder when we are going to be seeing the new character. Because he was supposed to come out in this update, and it's just like... I don't know, I need to check the store, actually. I haven't checked it in a few days. Yeah. Alright, that's wait, hold on. Wait, we had another marker. Oh, our satchel. Alright. Check that. Oh yeah, yeah, just these. I don't know if I wanna do this. I don't know if this activates anything special. But I just wanna save it. Austerity! Yeah, yeah, I got so many things. 
in here that we've made. They've made like maybe 75 of these, 75%. Probably more. 90% maybe. There's very few left that we don't have. OCD, OCD, OCD. God damn it. <laughs> We've just done this. This would have been easier. Yeah, but I have a lot of animals now. And uh, I can't remember if I addressed this, but when you place characters inside your realm, those also count as like these objects as well. So if you place one character, that means you have one less object that you can place. But I think it is a worthy trade. Oh yeah, this one has the names of all the different ones. Lanks. I should probably try to use this one of these days. Um, what is the new item? This. Wow, we only have 49. I thought we would have picked up more than that. What does it do? I'm actually going to look that up right now to figure out what the hell this thing does. Because I've not been able to figure out any use for it. Alright, I all I've been finding are like collection locations and stuff like that and not actual like what does it do? Alright. Oh, okay, so... Interesting. Okay, he's still not here. Six more days. Until he shows up here. Or no, he's gotta be... What the hell? There's usually one update a month. Well, roughly, but this has been a big one, so maybe this will go on for two months? How is it updated? Oh my god, my brain. I can't remember exactly when it was updated. I feel like it was updated near the beginning of this month. It's weird that we don't have Kazuha in here, which I believe is the name of the new character. And I just found out that that sea gemstone is what we use to level up that character. So it's like, either they're going to move the sea gemstones over to... Inazuma, or maybe these islands will just be incorporated into the Inazuma continent. Alright, so we got that. Um, Figured out what they do. Pick some of those. Bam! Pick that up. Now we just need to get these, I guess. That's really all I want out of this store. There's nothing super special. And then you're collecting these. Oh, damn it. it. Listen carefully. 
The fog in this area seems to come and go following a regular pattern. For some reason, that one keeps on popping up as unheard. Alright, so we got all that. All right, and I'm pulling up the video for the familiar voices so we can find all of them. We got lucky with the first one that we found. Um, I remember that there was one there that I couldn't listen to. And then I also remember the location of the quote-unquote first one. Aw, oh, man! It was on the island we were just at. Dang it. All right. Uh, so we'll travel back there. Center Island. Okay, so... Fudge Cakes. Oh, it's over. There, okay. Um, we'll jump here to the center so I can pick up the other shell. So we can uh, finish out all of uh, Barbara's uh, quest stuff. And we could try to fight this guy again. There are rewards for fighting him, I think, three and six times? Let's try this. So it's pretty dope looking. Let's see, do these work on him? Okay, no, just not. Let the show begin. Freeze. Alright, this is definitely a slow burn kind of situation. Razor would definitely help since he's such high damage output. Not today, buddy. Oh. Oh, dude. Nice. I don't think I realized he did that. He summons an ice sword. That's the kind of shit I want to see our characters doing. Like a child summoning the water daggers. Oh, my God. So, I know what the magic and alts look like for the new character, Kazua. And I'm a little disappointed in him. Because uh, his picture shows that he has... A katana made out of, like, animal energy, which looks so dope. And it's like, I hope that, uh, like, I seen what his alt looks like, but I didn't get a super close look, so I just kind of know, like, what the general thing is. It's like a ring damage kind of effect that he does a slash that makes, like, a ring around you. And I believe it's just a single strike, and it's not, like, a continuous thing. Kind of like that, what this guy just did. But it has, like, red uh, leaves falling around. But uh, I would really wish that he did that, except he'd summon, like, an uh, energy katana to do that single shot. That'd be super dope. But I don't think he does from the footage I've seen. But it has been almost a month since I saw it. And I wasn't paying super close attention to whether or not he had an energy katana. <laughs> But that would be so dope for an alt. Disappear. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> that thing is like blocking. Cool it. Don't get 
frostbite. Freeze. Come on, buddy. But he is supposed to be a puppet, isn't he? Which means someone is supposed to be able to puppet him. So who is puppeting him right now? I know this whole thing was supposed to be set up by Klee's mom, but I don't know. This seems like hella dangerous. And I know she's kind of like a deadbeat mom who's very irresponsible that leaves her child, but... I think this might be a step too far for her, so... I don't know if this really is her mom that did this part. If so, then wow. You have a lot of confidence in your child and their guardians. Put them in mortal danger. Oh, there we go. So yeah, he can manipulate Animo and uh, Ryo, it seems like. Oh, we're getting close. I went all the way around him. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, but So close, so close. Oh my god. Bennett, luckiest child in the world. Oh my god. I'm gonna check his uh, health as soon as this fight's over. Oh, 340 left. Ooh, I didn't realize we got these from him. I don't know what this is, but it's new, and we got three of them. Cool. I didn't realize this fight was actually one of these. Kind of set up like the uh, Devalon fight. But God, what a cheapskate. They only give you like 40 of these uh, points for friendship. Comrades. Nice. Weather is not bad today. Oh, Interesting. A new core. Now it's bound to rain. All right, let's go and get this seashell. Oh, it's a normal one. Ah, there it is. Strange com component. <laughs> are hungry. Hungry for fish. Water on the left, and on the right, more water. Hold on, let me check this, see if it brings up a list of things that we can get from them. Because I thought it was just a special event thing. Oh, okay, so not a lot. It looks like just fighting them once kind of gets us most of this stuff. Uh, it looks like a lot of the items that, uh, What's his name? Um, Storm Terror gives us in terms of our. Uh... Why am I so bad with words? Ah, uh, brain meat not functioning. <laughs> Artifacts. I cannot. For the life of me remember artifacts i do not know why for this game specifically it's not like i have a problem with the word in general but just like when it comes to those equipable items calling them artifacts is just like nah all right i believe it was this island right here in front of us that we already visited that had another shell on it
And I believe, I think I already know about who, the shell, who's going to be talking on. It's probably going to be Kai and Deluc. Weird. It's not popping up. There it is. Hello. Off we go. Uh. Right, I'm gonna bump her. Her do her alt, so then Bennett can come and do this. Let the show begin. That was a bad move because he is ice. Why did I do that? We did this last time too, when we came here. Damn it! <sighs> Gonna get the boat, pull it around, pull it around there, boss. Ah, some more of those. Yeah, weird. Yeah, I looked them up online, and it said, um, as of right now of the article, the only use of those is to level up Kazua. But it's like he's not even out yet. Unless, I don't know, you can actually still get him in the shop even though he's not, like, spotlighted. But no, he would have shown up on our uh, thing. Damn it. Suck. Right, that was way too, uh... Final one. Diluc, you're a man who knows his own mind. So help me decide. Is it seabird hunting time? Or seashell collecting time? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Come now, Diluc, be nice. Do you really want to stay here and do nothing at all? We might as well find a way to pass the time. I simply thought collecting seashells might be fun. It was last time. Although, we were much younger then. I didn't know you still remembered anything from back then. Nice. Alright, so we got that done. Um, event. Ooh, ten. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. A little sad we're gonna lose all this. Unless they decide to, like, I don't know, move it somewhere else. And maybe not even this, but just keep the seashells. And just put them in your inventory or something so you can re-listen to them. What else was there? Vents? Oh yeah, we just fought that guy, so...
Boom, some more of those points. Oh, it's only two and three. I thought it was, we had to fight them three times and then four times. Or uh, three times and then six times. Oh shit, okay, so just need to fight them. I'll fight them one more time off uh, stream so we can get this extra amount. And then how many do we need for this one? We need one more here, then two more for that one. We'll prob I'll probably get this one on stream, this one off stream. If I remember. All right, and yeah, and then, uh, is, uh, let's put those papers onto Dayluke, boost the best flame boy up, god damn it, every time. Wow, 10 pieces of paper just to get them up a couple of levels. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not that bad. All right, sweet. Um, all right, we got all that. Let's go quests. Where does that show up on the map? Good lord. All right, that's a big area to look, look around. But, uh, let's see if we can find any hidden deep-sea treasure. I'm assuming it might be uh, one of those, you have to follow the bubbles. Because that would actually be interesting if they made that, like... It's just a random thing around the map, except for this specific quest. Oh wait, no, there's something right dead center of it. I thought it was, like, we'd have to search the water. This I don't get. Why put a radius if they want us to go to like the dead center of it? There's nothing here. that bubble go? Check this boat out over here. Oh, it's gonna get... It looks like those bubbles might be indicators to where we need to go for this one. That we're gonna be outside of the range for that one. Oh, maybe that. Oh wait, what? I missed a treasure chest right there. Try to explore every inch of all these places, yet I still somehow miss a few bits of them. Huh.
shoot through two of them. One will shoot there, over to there, one will... Alright, let's just see how this goes. Alright. First of all, I'm gonna have to equip the other ball. Since it's a temporary object, I don't know why they don't just automatically equip it as like a hotkey kind of situation. Like make it X or something in here. Or triangle. See how position two fares. Wind blade. I can't really just see where some of where one of them goes. Like, the water one goes good, but I'm just not seeing where the electric one is going wrong. Oh! Okay, um... There we go. Boom, got it. Okay, that one was probably the most complex one of the wall. Oh, we should actually check. I haven't looked today. The, uh... Okay, we're at 27. So, I, I don't think... Maybe we can buy one? I've been really slacking. Uh, not even one. Fudge. Alright. Okay, we already went to that one. We went to that one. So... Let's check these bunch of rocks. found it. Oh, 
an actual threat to our ship. Almost. Oh, it looks like we just got enough to uh, buy another one. I like that. Now when they put treasure chests in like precarious positions on like sides of cliffs or like in a weird spot like this one, instead of just shooting out all the stuff, they just give it to us automatically. I wish they did that with all treasure chests so we wouldn't have to pick shit up off the ground. But I digress. Alright, sweet. So we got that one. I believe that was a completion of a quest. All right, where are we? Uh, here. All right, we're gonna jump over there. We're gonna do that one, and then we're gonna head back to Mondstadt to try to solve the picture, those uh, pictures that we've taken of all those uh, cave paintings. damage. God, yeah, he just... Re Look at that. We already have enough to do another one. It's so ridiculously broken. His alt set up. Care of this guy. I mean, his plants. Oh yeah. By the way, what the hell? When are we going to get someone that has a plant-based uh, ability? Because we've already met. Uh, what's his face? The head of Chi Chi's pharmacy. Or no, it's Boo Boo's pharmacy where Chi Chi works. That guy has a. Uh, he has the symbol of the person that can use plants as a magical ability. I'm surprised we haven't seen him as a character yet. A playable character. I just wish that they would introduce that one soon. But it seems like they might be holding off for that one for quite a while. It does seem like that could be a hard one to incorporate, but at the same time they already have Geo characters. Looks so like it can't be that much harder to make a plant-based character, unless it's hard to balance them. With the wind. Oh, hello. Yeah. Goodbye. Wind blade. What's up? Sweet. All right, and we also have some unlocked on events. What was it? Oh, complete six of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some uh, level up paper, so let's... Didn't we? I thought we did. Yes, alright. It's so shrill, that shriek, every time. God damn it. <laughs> and, um... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the shop. We got enough to bump it. Bump, 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 bump it. Alright, there we go. So now we're up to 28. We just need to get two more, and then we'll have an even 30 for when uh, Kazuya comes out. I believe that's his name. I swear to God, if I mess that up. <laughs> I'm going to be calling him his wrong name the entire time. Um, Yeah, because Eula is still the new one. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, if you look at how long I've been playing this game... It's only been, like, since Dragon Spines come out 
that I've started getting these five star characters. Like all, I think all of them except for her, I got after Dragon Spine came out. And honestly, I didn't even realize that she was a five star until like way later. And I'm like, really? For her? The one was just like kind of mediocre attack. But again, like I'm comparing her to Razor, who's just like Claymore user, beast of a freaking character. It's just so much output of damage. Um, thought we were gonna go back to Mondstadt. Honestly, I haven't seen Mondstadt in like two weeks. Or Tavat. I think Tavat's the continent that Mondstadt and Nuwe is on. Uh, let's travel back to the town, and then we'll pull up the uh, mission and see where it wants us to go. up that quest yeah i can't wait one of the big reasons one of the um reasons that i don't think a lot of people really think about and that is when we get the new region we're also going to get a whole new like set of soundtrack which i can't wait there's some awesome japanese style themes going on in there that should be pretty sweet um quests that's what we were doing my mind can't concentrate on more than one thing at a time <laughs> Oh, we are, yeah, we are so gonna so see Lisa. Like, yo, this thing, help. <laughs> this is the second quest that has had us come back to Mondstadt. The other one being the uh, Seelie that used that warp gate. To come back here. That one was a little eh, since you literally just need to teleport back here just so you could like walk them like five feet. <laughs> You're just like, bruh. You should have at least had like a fight or something on the other side of the gate of just a couple of regular dudes. Oh, do we tucked in maybe? Oh my god, okay, sweet! <laughs> Just complete talk to a random guy. And we got it. Yeah, this gotta be big news for a researcher. Because it's like all this, nobody knew about these place other than like Venti. And then obviously the people that like shipwrecked there. But no one off the island had. I feel like this, even though it's a side quest, this seems pretty important to the lore of the islands. It really should have been effective, man. Come on.
course, you're a researcher, all of, all of you are. In fact, everyone is. Like, who isn't interested in that kind of shit? Sweet! I'm so sincere, Luke, as he's almost at level 50. Ooh. Maybe three, possibly four more pieces of paper. And then he'll be at his next cap. Um, quests. I think that was it. Yep. And yeah, there's no like main quest either left. Um, let's go to archives real quick. Equipment. Travel log, was that just... Okay, so these are like the different acts of the main story that we've been on so far. Oh yeah, look at this. All of the side stories that we've done. I think I might have missed one. I thought, I think there was official one that I did not get to do. I think. Maybe that was before they started doing this. No, there was an official one, because I remember her symbol was the crow. Whatever happened to that? It was in my inventory for a while, and I put off doing it, and then it just wasn't there anymore. And I don't know whatever happened to it. Got all the beats and everything. This is a very nice setup. Alright, but anyway, uh, this is the main story. Or Mondstadt, Lingway. And then this is the one that we have been doing with Dane. Which is weird. Like, this is Prologue, Act 1, 2, and 3. Chapter 1, 2. Uh, chapter 1. And then just, this still says 1... Oh, so, oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I thought, like, these were all sets, like, with the same images, but this one apparently is still part of Chapter 1. Which, yeah, this had Dane in it. And the whole thing of finding out our sister's an evil person, even though they kind of ruined that surprise. By, uh, showing us her working with one of the, uh, Abyss Mages. In, like, the prologue, apparently. Which, it's like, come on, really? You're gonna call the entire Monset arc a prologue arc? Maybe we should come back around and do, like, chapter 2 here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, the, this Traveler's arc is still part of chapter 1. And I'm assuming when, um, Inazuma comes out, that's going to begin, uh, chapter 2, maybe? Because, yeah, the Traveler arc really threw a wrench into it because it honestly felt like this whole storyline of Linway was going into us going to Inazuma but then we get completely sidetracked with this and it's like I wish this happened throughout this Linway storyline or even throughout both of them so it was just like an undercurrent rather than its own chapter because it kind of just throws off the flow of we're going to Inazuma Right after we spent like six months dealing with this other traveler bullshit for some reason. So it's like the story flow I feel like could be a little bit better with the traveler story. But uh, we'll see how it works out with Inazuma. Because yeah, I believe the next... We're, we're supposed to meet uh, the new character in Linway. There's supposed to be a tournament for a... Uh, what are they called? A vision? A animal vision. And there's a tournament fighting arc that's happening there. And it's just like, yeah, it feels like this should have flown right into that arc. And this sh feels just like a cutaway. <laughs> like when you have the random beach episode in an anime, right in the middle of the important story. It's just like, why would you do that? Here. Uh, books. Let's see here. I haven't checked out books in a hot minute. Oh, I still don't have... Okay, so it still shows you what ones you're missing. 
guess, if you select one. But unfortunately, I don't know why, but books makes this game chug super hard <laughs> on console for some reason. Apparently a lot of text just freaks it out. All right, sorry about that. We're just looking at those. All right, sweet. So we got all of those done. Oh yeah, and I could probably attach that book to uh, Faye. Was that her name? Faye, Faye, Faye K. God damn it! The uh, fire user that we already have that um, uses magic. Which is interesting because I feel like Klee kind of introduces a new class of character almost that has a unique weapon. So even though she's still like basically a, like a uh, magic user, it's still like a unique item that she uses. It's those throwing bombs rather than just fireballs, which I think is something they could totally like do in this game. Like don't like introduce a character that's not a spear user, but a scythe user. And it's like the only difference is, is like maybe they do a lot more spinny attacks and you can introduce a whole new class of weapon that way. Even though it's basically just a spear. It's like, yeah, why not? Give a little visual difference to some of these characters weapon wise. Um, what's her name? Yanfei. I thought it was, I was thinking K something for some reason. Um... Yeah, weapon-wise, oh, we did give her that, and I believe that's boosted up quite a bit. Yeah, up to level 20. Dang it! All right, well, we can increase this one. Oh, 1.5. Neat. Yeah, like, that's 100% a book for Klee. <laughs> Still need more of these freaking horns? Good lord. <laughs> hmm. They both... How can I explain it? They both fit her, but not just right in terms of like the visual aesthetic of the weapon. Like, yeah, she's more of a crimson-y color, while this is more of a straight-up red. Well, this one has, I think, a little too much gray for her colorful outfit. Mm. Doesn't matter. Fashion souls. Shabam. Leo weapons. And yeah, we did give him the clock one, the clock weapon. Oh, and I never leveled it up. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, yeah, and... A sweet mama. Just need to get a few more, two more blueprints so we can get this thing maxed out. Alright, let's level this sucker up. Yeah, look at those horns. We have 200 of those things! Ridiculous. Nice. Got it all the way up to level 40. 40, 40, 40. 40. Oh, actually, what do we need for this one? Oh, yeah, this was like the high end. Everything's like at the high level. Oh, what about this one? Oh, those purple pouches. Those are the worst items because like only... As far as I know, I think only one character drops these. And that's the girl that has, like, the purple hood. She does electric attacks, and she can summon, like, those little electric bugs around her. Uh, and I also... Th maybe another. She's, like, a Fatui character. Um, I believe. Yeah, Fatui. Mage. And just, like, I hate fighting those characters, so I, like, avoid them. So I have, like, very little of her items. 
Budgy buddy. Is this swap? Oh, I can. Nice. Alright, sweet. Leveling some biz up. Um. Actually, wait. What's Kai's weapon at? I think that's one that's already capped. Yeah, it needs some like really high level good stuff. That I have just not been putting into it. But it will be at its cap once I level it up one more time. I can't get over it. That might, This might be my favorite weapon in the game, visually speaking. It's so dope. That's why I'm really hoping for some cool katanas to come in. Oh yeah, can I level this up? Ew. Almost. I only have 12 of those? It felt like I was getting a lot more of those. Interesting. And then did I ever switch back? I did not. Shit. I never switched back his weapon because I gave it to Zarya. I'm sorry, not Zarya, Rosario. Zarya is from Overwatch. <laughs> Dragon Spear! God. That was not that bad for the level either. Yeah, I really just need to... Honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of like... I need to do some grinding just to get the item so I can level up some of these things. Yeah, unfortunately, we're kind of running into a wall here. In terms of things to do. Golden Apple Archipelago. Alright, we're going to teleport back over there. We're going to do this other fight. Uh, try to get some more of the... Uh, uh, special event money. But yeah, it's weird. It feels like, even though this was a big update, I mean, like, look at this whole place. It's still, like, just a bunch of islands, so it's, like, not as much land to really cover. It feels like, uh, I don't know. The update, even though the updates have are very good in this game and they usually give you a lot of content, it just feels like I fly through them a lot faster. Where it's like it's a whole month's worth of content, but I fly through it within the first like two weeks. So it kind of feels a bit slow with this game. In like the later end of the month. So many bits. Oh, I should probably swap on the other uh, ball that we throw. I want to try one of the other ones. We've been doing the fire one for a while. Use this one. Oh my god, that one shot at him. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god, this thing is murder! Uh, I should have been using this thing on the big guys. I think this one might make this way easier. If I now have the option to, like, when I fight the big guy, I could just whip out this one. This one is so much more useful than the smaller one that I was using. Uh, I don't want to use it right now, because I have 40. I had 40 of them. But still... I want to pocket some of them, make sure I have them, just in case some crazy biz happens. Oh my god, I missed! Oh, 
Oh, and got some eggs. Oh my god, destroying them. Yeah, like, how can I describe this? It feels like, uh, after the initial few levels of the, uh, base builder, it just kind of feels like it's just, like, it's a lot of filler activity, really. Even though, like, the main story stuff of this is fun and great, it's still only... Like, if you play this game daily, almost, you'd maybe get a week's worth of play out of this whenever they do an update. Maybe two. Uh, since I only played on days that I stream. Mostly. I usually fly through it. All, like, the story stuff for the first two weeks. Unless it's, like, a timed event thing, which kind of drags it out. Lord, how 15? It has felt like I've taken down more than just 15. Wind blade. And I believe this will give us enough to buy our first uh, set of those papers of four. There we go. Yay. That was by that first P. Right, I'm going to look into this just to see if there's like something more about this. And if there's anything else I need to do with it. I assume it is, because it's like a very odd object to have in here. Alright. Searching it now. Uh, how to use. Alright, so there's a way to use them. Okay, you do need all four of them. Which I assumed, since it's like, it's an odd object. Like it's usually, a unique object usually just only has one copy of it. I mean, like, even look at, uh, yeah, like these. There's just one of these. So, when it's a unique object and there's multiple, it's always like, you probably need all of them. All right, let's uh, see where the next location is. We will pick up on that. Aha! Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit, that's what it does? That's ingenious! Okay. We don't need all four. I can do it right now and I can show you guys. Okay, this is ingenious what they've done. So, obviously, uh, one of the biggest pains in the butt in this game is, like, when you get a new character, you need to, like, level them up, level up their weapon that they're using, and also, like, level up artifacts and stuff like that for them. So, what they did with Dragonspine, when we got the purple sword, the special event there basically allowed us to level up that sword very quickly, ranked-wise. Uh, let's go here. I'll bring it up right now to show you. So reinforce, it gave us the opportunity to be able to reinforce that sword we got on Dragon Spine super quick. Since like the game's been out for a while, everyone's got like much higher end weapons and much more high ranked weapons. 
So to refine... So they uh, just gave you items to refine the sword up to a high level. And that's what they're doing here with this book. So that's what those pages are for. Which is just like so weird and interesting that they decided to do that. So these pages go into the book and increase its rank of refinement. Rather than you having to do the traditional route of make another version of the book and like fuse it together. But no, you just do this, select, and then we rank it up. Da boom! I like that. I like that it's more than just, here's another copy of the book, rank it up. But rather it's a separate item, they're like, oh yeah, that does make sense that you would combine those two things and it would rank up the book. I like that a lot. And I hope that they do that more in the future, where it's not just, here's five of this weapon, rank it up or not. It's just like, no, give us like specific items so we can rank this up. Like, this is supposed to be a special item, which it is. It's a tome made for Klee to her theme. So it's like, yeah, like, be able to rank this sucker up. Because I, I don't think we can actually make this book or get this book outside of this event. I know there are red versions of weapons, but I don't know if there's a red tome like this. I'm pretty sure this one's just specific for this event. So if you get this weapon, you obviously want to rank it up, and this it seems to be the only way to do that. But yeah, I like it. It's just subtle things like that. It's like they didn't need to like make this separate item. They could have just given us like four more books, but it's like, nah. This, uh, these pages get a little funner, a little more interesting. Oh, hell yeah, we're going to take these chubby little jelly boys out. Yeah. Oh, that just took down a shield. I was hoping that would do a lot more damage. Although, their shields are pretty high level, so... Burn in the icy depths of hell. Damn it. Oh my god, I was afraid I was gonna miss it. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing just one-shots the hell out of him. What the fuck? It just didn't have any effect. Yeah, I'm just chucking all these at these boys. Oh. It even feels like these big guys are easier to take out now. I think it was just like the big yeti kind of characters that can um, have their body be their own shield. Or they get a uh, separate shield meter over their health. I think those guys are just the toughest ones to fight. For obvious reasons, I mean like just adding the automatic shield that you can't get around. Boom, which means we can buy another one. I don't know why I went in there. I should have... Oh, wait, no, no, Yeah. Reward. Nice. We just need one more, then we have another reward on top of that. Boom. Grab another one. I'm going to hold on uh, ranking it up until I get the rest of them. Actually, you know what? Um, We're almost at time right now. I'm just... This is what I'm going to be doing. Like, uh, just more of these fights. Like, we've already seen the diversity in them. Uh, there's, like, m 
like three different variations ones with big guys ones with like those little jelly dudes and then one that just has a bunch of waves of regular hilly trolls uh, i'm just gonna be doing that getting the rest of that special paper to uh rank up that book which that yeah i i don't know why it's just like it's such a simple thing to do but it's just like yeah that shows care in the that like you're putting into the game that i really appreciate man this game is so amazing like it's insane that this this game is free and it's on like every platform <laughs> but uh yeah that is gonna be it for today guys thank you very much for uh, coming out and hanging out on day 294 of streaming in a row and uh what is it uh part 81 82 let, let me check 81 of Genshin Impact. I have done so many of these streams. Holy hell. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I've been kind of hitting a wall with this in a little bit recently since like the only thing to really do is just like a lot of grinding stuff now at this point just because I fly through a lot of the like story and quests so quickly. But uh yeah, we'll see. I might take a bit of a break of Genshin Impact or maybe a week or two. He's like, that's the thing. With Genshin Impact, like, they're always putting out updates. They're super good at that, which means there's always new content. Uh, but it's always, like, a handful at a time, almost. But, uh, we'll see. Maybe next month, if a Plague Tale Innocence is the, uh, is the game that is, in fact, gonna be free, uh, maybe we'll take a bit of a break of Genshin Impact, unless there's, like, something big that happens. Like, uh, Maybe uh, I'll do one stream Genshin Impact a week and kind of narrow it down like that if there isn't a lot in it. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll change up my schedule a little bit. But uh, I might cut back on Genshin Impact after... Uh, at times like this, where it's like the patch is out, it's been out for a while. I've gotten basically everything done in it other than some grindy stuff. And we're just waiting for like the next bit of this patch to like really come out being the new character as well as uh the new story stuff so i'm hoping that might drop at, at when this ends what was it six days five days yeah in five days when this uh ends i'm assuming the next part is gonna kick off that's how it usually is. But for some reason, this feels like these islands went on for a very long time. Which, honestly, yeah, it's a new area. It should go on for a while. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do on Thursday exactly. Uh, we might just do some bumming around grinding kind of stuff. So, like, if you ever wanted to miss the stream, that would probably be the one. Unless something big happens, which I do not foresee anything happening between now and uh, when this ends. But, uh... Yeah, I might, uh, I might cut back on Genshin Impact on some odd and end days where it's just like, like Thursday, there won't really be anything happening, but I don't really have any other game I can fill that one day in with. So, uh, I might try to find some, like, back burner games for, like, just odd days where Genshin Impact just kind of went slow because of, uh, how the update works and how they're dropping content. But anyways, sorry, rambling, 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 rambling. Anyway, uh, we're done for today, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out and hanging out. Really appreciate it if you could hit that follow button. It really helps me out. And uh, if you want to see any of my past streams, all 81 of them will be over on YouTube. Uh, the link down below in the About section on my Twitch page, as well as a link over to my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online and what I am playing. Um, the schedule for the rest of the week is still the same. Kingdom Hearts 3 tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be finishing up San Francisco, I believe, which is the Big Hero 6 level. Uh, and we'll see how far we get in after that. And then we'll play some more... Wait, what is today? Today's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. For some reason, I was like, is today Tuesday or Thursday? <laughs> it's like two very different days. Uh, yeah, Thursday, we'll uh, just bum around Genshin Impact, kind of have a lazy day, do a bit of grinding, nothing really important. Uh, and then on Friday, back to Kingdom Hearts, and then this weekend we will be 
We will be doing some tough stuff in Nier. I'm still, if you've watched my Nier playthrough uh, of Nier Replicant, I'm kind of stalled out in this challenge dungeon I've been trying to get through. So I've been trying to level up during the week. I've already gained one level. I've got to go grind. Unfortunately, I haven't really found a good place to grind out levels. So it's just like, enter a room, fight the enemies, exit the room, re-enter the room. And it's just like, 1500 xp a pop and each level is like 90 thousand per level so it's like ah uh, mind numbing kind of grinding unfortunately but i'm trying to get up close to level 40 before this upcoming weekend so we can try the challenge dungeon again because this past weekend i got one shotted by the first boss in the first room of the dungeon and it's just like oop so uh, hopefully this weekend will go a lot better. But uh, yeah, that's the plans for the week. Kingdom Hearts, Genshin, Kingdom Hearts, near over the weekend. But uh, yeah. And then, uh, let me see. What does the calendar look like? Okay, I don't know when the PlayStation Plus games will drop exactly. I honestly I don't really pay super close attention to what specific day they drop. But uh, next week should probably be the same schedule. But then the week after that, maybe uh, I'll find out whether or not Plague Tale Innocence is. And then maybe I'll try to uh, work it into the schedule. Because like in the past, when a big game's come out, like Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, I tried to uh, just play that game straight through. Um, I don't think I will be able to because of Kingdom Hearts. I think I'll only uh, swap out Genshin Impact for it, if we are going to do that. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh... I'm trying to think what other games are coming out that I want to play. I still there's still like Dragon Quest stuff that I want to try to get into uh once Kingdom Hearts finishes up. And uh oof, what else was there? Um God, E3 just freaking happened. But the, it was like a bunch of mini games. So it's like I don't know how long. Uh I was thinking of maybe trying out uh Outer Worlds. I think it was, I'm going to be so wrong about this. I want to say it was made by, it wasn't made by Obsidian, was it? No. It was a offshoot of the guys that made uh, Fallout, basically. A space version. God, what was the company name? I'm going to Google it. But yeah, Outer Worlds 2 was announced, and I heard good things about Outer Worlds 1. So maybe I'll try that on stream. At some points, um, Atomic Heart looked hella dope at E3. I cannot tell you what it is about, but I definitely want to play it. Uh, Chernobyl, what, what was it called? There was a Chernobyl-based game that's going to be coming out that I definitely want to play. That's first person, as well as Stalker 2, which looks super dope. But yeah, it's just like a bunch of mini, not mini games. I keep saying mini games. Like, he, it's a lot of third-party games, and I don't know how long they're going to be. So it's like, I want to play them, but I don't know how much of a time investment it's going to be. So uh, we will see. Oh yeah, by the way, when Elden Ring comes out, that is all this channel is going to be. <laughs> we are going to play the shit out of that when that comes out next year. Um, Oh well, yeah, also Evil Dead. I might take a break, uh, play that for a few streams, see how that goes. Uh, What else, what else? Oh, Metal... Metal Slug Tactics. I might uh, also bring that one out. Uh, try that one. Yeah, just like honestly check my Twitter. I have like all the trailers for these up on there. It's like if you see a trailer for it, I'm probably going to try to get it and see if we could stream it. Um, I don't driving me crazy. The Chernobyl game. But yeah, it's basically Fallout except in the area around Chernobyl. Chernobylite? So, Chernobyl light. Chernobylite. It's like, uh, where you're saying you come from. Like, a Floridian is a person from Florida. A Chernobylite is a someone from Chernobyl. So, yeah, that's the name of the game. It looks first person. Like I said, it looks fallouty. y uh, And that's supposed to come out next month. I don't know the specific date, unfortunately, as of right now. Uh... 
course, there's always like Shin Megami Tensei 5. Uh, I was thinking about maybe trying to get into some of those. But I'm a completionist kind of person, so it's like I want to play the first one. And it's like some of those earlier games, it's kind of rough to stream. Like uh, Final Fantasy 1, I, I love that game. But I don't know if I'd ever stream it unless I had like someone on with me so we could chat while we're playing it. Um, the Medium also looks hella dope, which is... The game that a lot of people say like reminds them of Silent Hill that's going to be coming out. It was exclusive to Xbox, but uh, PlayStation made a deal somehow, and it's coming to PlayStation as well. So I need to look into that. I don't know if that was an Xbox studio or if that was just a studio that signed with Xbox. That seemed uh, interesting. Uh, the Fredal Frame that's coming out on Twitch. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. Yeah, there's just like a shitload of games. I just I was just going down the list of all the games from E3, and it's just like so many of them I want to play, but like right now I have a fixed schedule, and it's like I need to figure out when some of these are coming out, and like figure out the logistics for them, and uh, make a calendar. But uh, yeah, like I said, that is it for today, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Kingdom Hearts. Uh, if not, I will catch you guys on Thursday where we'll be getting back into this. Uh, Genshin Impact. Probably just gonna go on to the mainland. Honestly, I feel like I've had enough of this tropical-y kind of area. Because, I don't know, I was hoping it would be like tropical rainforest kind of area. While this just kind of feels like the mountain ranges of Linway in a tropical setting almost. Where it's just like, eh. It, like, it's okay, it's fine. But I really wish they could do, like, more diversity in the areas. Because, like, you're in a freaking fantasy video game world. You could do anything. <laughs> uh, so I just wish they were a little more creative with some of their regions. But I do realize that they're trying to um, keep some level of, like, like, grounded realism, I guess? Like, somewhat? As much as an anime needs, I guess? But, uh... Yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming out and hanging out, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye!